brought you here and what keeps you here? Baywatch brought me here. Baywatch and Beverly Hills Cop. <laughs> and I was like, I'm going to LA. So that's what got me here. And then I have yet to find anywhere else in the world that has what I can get in LA. Yeah, I always tell people like, if you don't think LA is for you, then you haven't made the right LA for yourself. Bingo. Cause it's there. Bingo. A lot of people say, I don't like it. I, I gotta move, I'm tired. It's, no, you've been in the same spot for too long. Right. Hanging with the same people for too long. It smells like ketchup, but then like it's it a kicks. Kick. It yeah. kicks after. It definitely burns your nose hairs. That's how you know it's mild sauce. Mm. No, this one's good. Yeah, the breading and everything is on point. Yep. Like you get that nice crunch. It's not too salty. Mm -hmm. You get the sweetness of the mild sauce to counter the salt. So when you get a bite of this, like, how does it make you feel? Nah, it just takes me back to Chicago, honestly. Do you need that, like, being out here? Not really. But it's nice. It's comforting, I mean, it, right? Yeah, for sure. It reminds me of when I was younger. A lot of the times it was with my box. Going home or like on the weekends. And you just pull up to like a Herald's. So you know like South Side of Chicago, which is like the dreaded South Side, that's where they started. So when we wanted to go to Herald's, you just go to any of the locations on the South Side. Hey, I need. So you know. You gotta go to that Harold's and then you gotta hurry up. <laughs> Keep your head on swivel. <laughs> hurry up and run in and go get that order and then come right back out. It's a trip. Because they were in straight up sus ass neighborhoods. How much has uh, love for motorsport and all that has influenced your fashion brands? I think it's the lifestyle because the people who can afford the, the luxury of being able to go to like Formula One races, for example, it's not necessarily flashy because you know, one, you probably don't know what the car is that they're driving because you've never seen it. And two, you probably wouldn't know the price of what they are wearing unless they told you because there are logos on it. Yeah. It's a white t-shirt and jeans with some type of shoes and you're like, oh, it's well put together, but you have no idea. So that's like that whole understated luxury. Now what I'm starting to like make my my uh, mark under and as like when people see me, it's like all right, cool, it's understated luxury. Like this is his style. How do you bring just your upbringing in Chicago and all that and mash that up to be this like new style of luxury? Because I think like with my photography specifically, I think it's like me bring getting brought up in Oxnard, not being around this stuff, and then doing stuff for like Rob Report magazine, and then getting educated in what that world looks like. Um, but when I look at luxury, I always try to find a little bit of heart, or like the actual part that makes you happy, not the part that's just so vapid, right. just because it's expensive. Right, you know? right, right. But like, yeah, respectively, we would go downtown, walk down Oak Street, and you see the Barneys, you see the, the Lester Lambert jewelers, you see all of this luxury, and it's just like, wow, you're window shopping. You're looking and you're seeing all this, but you're from 
you know, 10 miles that way, which looks nothing like this. So that's kind of where we would say, all right, we aspire to have this, but this is our, this is our current situation and like condition, right? And it was always that, like even since I was a kid, it was always Ralph Lauren head to toe with the latest Jordans that were released. Today, I have on all 1989 head to fucking toe with Jordans. I'm 31. I've been wearing Jordans since I was age zero. So that's just like, you know, that, that was just us. And obviously you see now every fucking body in the world, no matter ethnicity, everybody wants to now wear Jordans with whatever they have on. You see all these girls on Instagram from Russia, from China, from Japan, from London, fucking Paris, you name it. They all now want to wear Jordans. And you see the Jordan silhouettes and luxury brands now. Yes. That finger lick is so good. <laughs> Underappreciated part of a meal. <laughs> 